If you're interested in exploring data about the well-being of children and youth, the Kids Count Data Center is an excellent resource. The site allows you to browse available data by location, topic, or characteristic. If you're looking for data on a specific geography, you can browse data by location. There are two main ways you can do that. The first way is to use the map on the Data Center's homepage. You can use the drop-down menu to select U.S. state or territory, or you can click on one on the map itself. The second way to browse data by location is from the By Location tab. On this page, you can use the drop-down menu to select the U.S. state or territory, or you can click on one on the map. On the following page, you can browse data available for this location by indicators, or use the Filter Indicators menu and radio buttons on the left side of your screen to change or refine your search. This can show you data by county, school district, county subdivision, city, or congressional district if available. If you want to browse data by broad topics that relate to child well-being instead of by location, there are two main ways you can do that. The first way is from the Data Center's homepage. Scroll down to the section Choose a Topic or Characteristic and click on a topic. For example, we'll click on Demographics. On the following screen, you can choose from demographic subtopics such as basic demographics, age group, race and ethnicity, or family nativity. You can also use the filter indicators menu and radio buttons on the left to change or refine your search. By default, you're only accessing data for the nation, 50 states, and 50 largest cities. If you want more detailed data for your state, such as counties or school districts, Use the drop-down menu under Locations and select your state. The second way to browse data by topic is from the By Topic tab. After selecting the By Topic tab, you'll see the topics you can choose from. Each one shows subsets of information related to that topic. There is Demographics, Economic Well-Being, Education, Family and Community, Health, Safety and Risky Behaviors, Race and Ethnicity, COVID-19, and youth and young adults. For example, we'll click on economic well-being. On the following screen, you can choose from subtopics such as employment and income, public assistance, housing, poverty, other economic well-being, race and ethnicity, and family nativity. On this same page, you can use the filter indicators menu and radio buttons to change or refine your search. If you want to browse data by characteristic, such as age, race and ethnicity, and family nativity, instead of by location or topic, there are two main ways you can do that. The first way is from the Data Center's homepage. Scroll down to the section marked Choose a Topic or Characteristic and select one of the characteristics available race and ethnicity, age, or family nativity. Then you'll be taken to a screen with a list of indicators available for that selected characteristic. The second way to browse data by characteristic is from the By Characteristic tab. From the By Characteristic tab, you'll see available characteristics you can choose from. For example, we'll click on race and ethnicity. On the following screen, you can choose from indicators like demographics, economic well-being, education, family and community, health, and safety and risky behaviors. You can use the filter indicators menu and radio buttons to change or refine your search. By default, you're only accessing indicators for the nation, states, and largest 50 cities. If you want more detailed data for your state, like counties or school districts, use the drop-down menu under locations and select your state. Lastly, you can also browse data by location, topic, or characteristic with the data center search bar. For location, for example, you can type in the name of a U.S. state, territory, city, county, school district, county subdivision, or congressional district. If data for that location is available, it will show up when you search for it. If you're on the Data Center homepage using search, and there is more than one location that matches your query, like for instance, if you type in Suffolk, you can click See All Matching Locations to select the correct location. 
Once you perform an initial search, you can browse data by location or topic, and the results will automatically update as you type in new keywords. Searches by topic and characteristic using the search bar work the same way. That's how to search by location, topic, and characteristic on the Annie Casey Foundation's Kids Count Data Center. Be sure to check out our other videos in the series on how to use the site, which you can find at the help page. Also, let us know if you have any follow up questions by clicking the contact link in the site's footer. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found the information you needed. 